Hello everyone, this is Lolly with my second channel, The Lolly Life. My first channel, Lolly Palooza, has all of my craft tutorials. This channel is more just like for the fun and things I'm doing in my life. So we are gearing up for another trip to Disneyland. And so I want to just go through all my pins. So this one is from the Plaza Inn when we did the breakfast with Minnie and friends. This was actually Disney World. And although it says first visit, um, I had been to Disney World years and years and years ago when I lived in Florida, but it was my first time back forever and ever, and the first time that they were actually making these big buttons. Now this is Disneyland planning and tips and tricks, and Disneyland. So this is a group uh, from Ashley, who is the Disneyland planner babe on Instagram. I will give you her Instagram account, and I will give you a link also to this group. And so it answers all your questions about how do we get reservations and restaurants and hotels and all the little tidbits about Disneyland. And if you ever see her in the park, she will give you one of her pins. So that's those. I'll put those right there. Um, this is another one. Let me zoom in here. There we go. I love this, which is obviously from the Pirates of the Caribbean. This is official pin trading 2008. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean is, oh, it's it's right up there as one of my fave rides. And this is a Disney World 50th anniversary. You see these ones I have not. Uh, I put locking pin backs on mine. I haven't done that yet. And this one is a real fun one, Disney Collection. Where to next? Okay, get that open. I love this. This is where to next. It's got Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Adventureland, and Frontierland. So you could spin it. Isn't that really fun? It's so cute. I just think it's adorable. One of my first times to Disneyland, I got the lanyard and I bought that little, I love the Mickey glove. I just think that is so adorable. So, um... You will notice that many times on my craft videos, I use this as my pointer tool. Okay, so back to pins. And so I did, I wore the lanyard and I filled it, you know, while we were in the park. And so I love Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter. So I have these two, the White Rabbit, and it's always tea time. So you see, there's the locking pin backs. I'll explain those later. This was also from the park, Unlock the Fun also from the park, and that is the Up House, and also from the park, this is Pooh and his little balloon. He, I love the ones that swing like that. These ones are also licensed to Disney, but um, I got them from Target, these here. Hello, my name is Mickey, and then the glove, and then the mini. I don't know why she's so scratched up. This one is Doodlebug. Now, it I'll show you the package here. This is what it looks like. So it looks like a Mickey thing, uh, you know, but it's not, I don't even know if it's licensed or anything. I, I doubt it. So that's what I had there, very heavy. So I don't do that anymore because this is what I bought for in use at the park. And this, um, I have a backpack that I wear. Oh, and here's one here. I'd rather be at Disneyland. So I shop in Disneyland and I shop at the uh, shopdisney.com and that's where I got this one. I'd rather be at Disneyland. I had a charm hanging here. It came with this little purse and it broke off really quickly. It really was not made very strong. This I like, the charm was cute, but again, it just wasn't made strong enough. Okay, so I wear a backpack and I love my backpack. It is perfect. I should do a separate video about that. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. But you don't always want to get into your backpack for your phone and for your lip balm and for maybe a ticket or or for your money. Like you just want to get a churro or something. You don't want to have to always get into the backpack. So I leave this crossbody around my neck and then I use this for the money in a cell phone. So the cell phone fits in here and it is touch sensitive. So I don't even have to take my cell phone out most of the time. I can just touch it and move things around. So, and it's got the pouch here and a pouch here. 
so I can put my money, I put my money in the zipper part, and then I can put lip balm or whatever else I need in there. And it's got a pouch right here. Oops, I've got something in there. Okay, actually, here's where I put my money. I put it in this. I bought this from uh, Etsy seller too. So I love it. And this is what I put my pins on at the park now until I get home. And then I will take them off and I will move them over to another method. So I'll probably take this one off as well. And there's the locking pin backs. And I want to show you how the locking pin back works. First, I have this, which I made uh, to hold pins because I just kind of collect pins anyway. So there's one of the llamas I have and people send me pins. So this one is 2022 and it spins. There's a Star Wars one. This is not from the park, but this is from a Star Wars uh, it was a monthly subscription box my daughter used to get. There is an Eeyore pin that it, this is Disney licensed from the park from years ago. These two again were licensed Disney but sold at Target. Okay, this one, uh, a friend was at Disney World and she bought that for me. This one also licensed and sold at Target. And let's see, this is, um, I, this is, I'm not sure. This is, I think, Echo Park. This is from another craft company. And this is one of those mystery boxes here. And it's Pluto, I think. So um, I'm thinking what I need to do is make another one of these. So I have, I could put all my non-Disney stuff on one and all my Disney stuff on another. So let's just take one of these off. Okay, here's one here. Let's use this one and put a locking pin back on this. And so here's what I take to the park with me. I take this little case. I don't need all of these in there though. And so when I go there, all I have in it are the locking pin backs. And then as I get a pin, my daughter and I both do this. As we get a pin, we'll take the rubber back off and put that in there and take one of these off. So when you put that on the back, you wanna push it down. Don't push the top, push this little rim right there on the outside like this, okay? Now it's on there. You just push the, think of it as like a hat. You're pushing the brim of the hat. Now to get it off, you have to hold that brim down while pulling up on the center. And then it works. It's kind of weird. It's kind of fiddly to get off, but that's the whole point. You want to hold the brim of the hat down while pulling up the center of the hat. So again, and to get it on, just push the brim of the hat. To get it off, push down the brim while pulling the center of the hat up. And they are on there. And so, you know, if you're going to make this investment to buy these pins, and you don't want them falling off in the park. So I take this with me. That's in my backpack. And as we go on, we have less of these and more of the little rubber pieces. Uh, let me know if you do anything with these yourself. I think these would be kind of a cute for a craft, but I don't know what to do with them. So I do have quite a lot of these saved up. So anyway, we're looking forward to this trip. If I can find the seller uh, in my history that I bought these from, my, my daughter and I each have one, and it's this is a lifesaver. If I can find that seller, I will give you a link to her shop. So I think I've been really happy with it. It's been a great purchase. Like I said, the only thing was there was a cute little like red and white charm that hung down, but it really wasn't uh, made very securely, so it fell off. But you can hang other charms on yours as well. We're looking forward to this trip. And um, the next thing I will do is do a, a video showing you the backpack that I take to the park because it is perfect.